Welcome back, Wolfpack Entertainment. We are back doing another movie review for you. And we, we've got some familiar faces. One in particular that's decided that he was going to be a, a hermit and not be a part of the Wolfpack Entertainment universe, but we dug him out of his crypt and made him come in here and join us. Obviously, I'm the Wolf. This is... Statman. Oh, yeah. And... Wingman. All three of us. We sat down and we decided we were going to watch a classic. And I use that term loosely. Cult classic. I mean, it was back in the 86. It was back in 86. I guess. My day. <laughs> cult classic. Yeah, cult. Look how old he is. Cult classic movie. And. Yeah, you know, I say I was like seven and a half. I was 86. I was two. <laughs> I was two years old. 21. <laughs> I was drinking age. He was drinking age. We decided to... Yeah, you uh, had to drink with this one. <laughs> oh, man, it would probably make it a lot better movie. It's still enjoyable. It did. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Oh, like, it was awesome. I had to pre-game to watch this movie. <laughs> well, we've got all the... You know, there's superhero movies everywhere. As you can see, we're in the new Superman room. So, first time filming in here. A lot of the stuff in here. Excited about that. Yeah, but they can't see all of it. Though. No, they can't see it all. One of these days, they'll get to see part of it. But I don't need people trying to rob me because they want to try <laughs> to steal all my Superman stuff. But we've got uh, all these superhero movies I'm excited about. I'm going to do a video soon about reactions to the new Superman suit and James Gunn's Superman, previously Superman Legacy. But, uh, you know, the MCU is huge, and you got Disney Plus and all these different things. And so I was... Uh, spitballing and brainstorming with Wingman. I was like, we need to do a movie review. What would be a good movie to watch tonight? I just have to have a list of ones that I thought would be good to yep. do. And so I looked at the list and I started cracking up and I was like, man, the hero for the time, Howard the Duck. <laughs> Howard the Duck. I don't know if many of you know, but Howard the Duck is actually a Marvel comic character. It was a comic book before it became a movie. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, and yeah. so oh, yeah. it was... Uh, very odd obviously Stan Lee was involved with it and uh, we decided we're gonna go back to 1986 and we're gonna watch Howard the Duck and because I am the keeper of all things nostalgia I had a special edition <laughs> DVD I don't even know when I bought that even had bonus features on it which were terrible by the way we decided <laughs> to shut those off so we watched Howard the Duck tonight and uh, it's a fever dream it's there's nightmare fuel in it, but I, it's it's worth watching. So. Well, hey, it did actually win five awards and got nominated for four others. Five awards and nominated for four others. Let me guess. One of the awards was it some of the special effects in it? Maybe? Uh, visual effects. Visual yes. effects. So that that. Uh, but don't let me say that uh, it, winning five awards was something good. Because it was for that one was worst visual effects. <laughs> worst visual effects. <laughs> That's what it was. Like a Razzie, basically. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> what a Razzie. Yeah, four of the five awards were Razzies. Oh. Good. And then the other one was like a stinker award. So or it won yeah. awards for being crappy. <laughs> it's like you're so crappy. You well, wouldn't like a classic. It's it was two, two of them. Two of them for worst picture. <laughs> one for worst screenplay. Worst new star. And then the worst visual effects. Who is the worst new star? Uh, Tim Robbins. Oh my gosh, Shawshank Redemption. We all love Tim Robbins <laughs> now. Like I don't, I don't love him uh, his personal politics, but he's a great actor. <laughs> we got Lois Lane here too, the, the the weenie dog. So she decided she needed to be a part of what was going on. Four, <laughs> four or five awards for being terrible. All that joking aside, though, it really is enjoyable to watch. It, it's. For what it is, like yeah. it's just a weird. I mean, weird what movie. other movie is gonna have the term space rabies in it? Space rabies. <laughs> space rabies. It's funny because going into it, you would think because of who's attached. You got Robbins. You got Leah Thompson from Back to the Future. Who Dave's first instance was. And she's Jeffrey hot. Jones. <laughs> she is Jeffrey <laughs> Jones. Jeffrey Jones. Yeah, there's she some. Good, a hard there the There's day. some good <laughs> actors in it, and then. The executive producer was none other than George Lucas himself. Yeah, the father of Star Wars, and so I mean, you think it would be a match made in heaven, but 
Um, <laughs> no, it's no. Uh, it's definitely very bizarre. It's it's a weird, weird movie. Um, give us a few facts besides uh, George Lucas, and then obviously those really uh, terrible awards. That all had. That's all we had. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. There's like, there's like, it, it, you got no critical acclaim, but I do know that. Well, one of the nominations was for worst picture of the decade. <laughs> worst picture of the decade. There were some bad movies in the eighties. <laughs> I've seen some bad movies, but I, I think it got a bad rap because it. Uh, Worst director was another one. Too. It had. We're gonna get into that, so we're gonna talk about that for here in a second. But it did have. I for the time, the animatronics they weren't absolutely terrible, and there was five different people that played Howard the Duck at different yeah, points. Yeah. Ed Gale was one of them. Yeah, and he was the I main. I can't remember the other four. I can't remember. There was a twelve-year-old kid. There was a female stunt actor, and then two others I don't remember. But the 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 head was like a helmet with the animatronics, you know, Muppet yeah. style. And then, and um, they did try several different ways yeah, to do they, it, but it, it yeah, and none of it, none of it worked other than what they got, and so, and it, really, it wasn't that bad. Now, the stop animation with the dark overlord is pretty cringy, pretty pretty cringy bad at the end. It's definitely not Ray How Harryhausen or anything, but it's uh, it's just such an odd movie because the pacing is weird on it because it starts out, well, it starts out with on Duck World with Howard. And yeah, he's kind of coming in, in and he's starting to like watch TV, and it's with all these commercials with ducks, and then you've got uh, you've got him smoking a cigar and all this, and drinking a, a duck wiser or whatever it is, a beer, and and like, and then he gets pulled by this interdimensional portal to Earth. That's how he ends up in Earth, and there's like there's no lead up to it. It's just like all of a sudden he's sitting in his chair, and then now he's getting sucked to Earth. Yeah, and he, he just starts, starts shaking. shaking and he thinks there's an else. earthquake, and then. Dave, Dave's uh, favorite part, I say that all joking, but they start pulling him through and his chair is getting ripped through these walls and he's going through other people's apartments and we get full on, full on duck nudity with this <laughs> female duck. Well, he started out looking at a duck, uh, duck play boy. Duck. Yeah, play, play duck. duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play and, duck. He, and, and she's like sitting in the bathtub and she's topless and it's a duck. And it doesn't things But it's, <laughs> an, it's anatomically uh, correct, like as far as it was a human, sure? a humanoid, a humanoid duck. I, it is what what they thought they were doing with that. I have no idea. That was a bad idea. That was a bad. That's a bad way to start the movie. One hundred percent. And then there's a weird love interest between Leah, Leah Thompson, Beverly, and Howard. It's, that's really weird, too. Hey, Switzler or something like yeah, that? Yeah, Switzler. Her Switzler. boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, her boyfriend. It is, that, that's and a she weird. actually does scream out loud. Yeah. Wow, that that's a weird dynamic, that, that whole thing with that. And it like jumps back and forth from being like almost science fiction horror to like slapstick comedy. Like It's just like, jerk, like one second it's... It's it's like horror stuff, movie. yeah. And then all of a sudden there's romance, and then all of a sudden it's slapstick, like Three Stooges, and it's it's all over the place. Yeah, it's, you may think it's a B movie, but yeah. it's, it's actually not. No, it's not. I'm interested. Uh, I wonder how much they spent on that movie. Like, I mean, it had to be a stupid amount of money. Like, it had to be a stupid amount of money <laughs> that was not that was not worth spending. I don't think they, I don't know if they would make what they spent. Well, on they it. definitely didn't make any money on. There's no way like that, that. Well, I know then they didn't, but I wonder yeah. over the years. Now, see, that's what I'm going to get into is like, so I don't want to recap the whole movie. It, you did, it has to be experienced, right? Yeah. You just got to watch it. Yeah. So if you can find it, it may be on Prime or something. I don't know. Could be Netflix. Too. Netflix. Yeah, just watch it. If you get a chance, watch it. Um, it's rated PG. There are definitely some non-PG. Definitely need parental <laughs> guidance. My kids were not allowed. My kids did not watch it. Um, not a kid movie. No, yeah. but it, it, it's like because of what There's it is. There's another movie that comes to mind. We've already done a review of that one. Which one is that? Little Monsters. Oh, Little Monsters. Yeah, that was one where it was like, <laughs> that was rated P. That was in that weird time period in the 80s where like Gremlins came out and they had to make up PG-13. and they Gremlins were fight, is on the list. They were fighting over like what would be appropriate for kids and what wasn't appropriate for kids. And you got all this weird crossover of like stuff that probably shouldn't be in a kid's movie. <laughs> That ended up in kids movies. Yeah, well, those two are definitely not kids movies. No, absolutely not. I never realized how much with that one, uh, Little Monsters, still we watched it, and I was like, geez, man, I can't believe my parents let me watch this movie. It was so... Yeah, many innuendos. Many innuendos. Like, but I guess if you look at cartoons at the time, there was innuendos. Yeah, I'm not going to say the first part of that. People will understand. Yeah, we don't see we don't see them until we're older and because they fly over your head as a kid. But I, I honestly... The movie is weird. It's fever dream. Old. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> some people still don't catch it, but it's a weird movie, and it's got some cool stuff in it. And I like the horror aspects of it when the Dark Lord 
takes over the doctor and starts to manifest like himself. Angry, yeah, yeah his, like. <laughs> his, his mind, his his physical parents. The starts, creature at the end, the dark overlord yeah. from uh, Nexus of Somnus. Nexus of Somnus. Yeah, that's what they call it. Yeah, what a name. <laughs> the dark overlord of Nexus of Somnus. You can just tell it was just cheesy. Yeah, it's very, like, it I'd is. I'd say, um, Instead of a B movie, I say C movie. It's it's yeah, it's it's unapologetically what it is because I think it's I, almost like a Mel Brooks movie. <laughs> yeah, kind of like yeah because so I don't think it was trying to totally same lines. totally be parody, but it was definitely trying to be along those same lines of just just kooky and weird because and when we watched some of the back to the or behind the scenes stuff, um, they they it was what they wanted it to be. It was weird and odd sense of humor, and that's exactly. Them love that's Dory, exactly uh, what it is. Yeah, it's all a joke. Like it doesn't take it. The movie doesn't take itself seriously. So if you go into it thinking you're gonna watch, you know, some like real piece of cinema, uh, you're gonna be <laughs> severely, severely disappointed. Yeah. Because it, it it's it's exactly what it is. It's I just mean, weird. They, they did kind of stay true to the character of Howard the Duck. Yeah, I think so. But. Yeah, I mean, I've not read a bunch of the Howard the Duck comics. I've seen some. I think I own a I've couple. I've never seen any. But um, heavy drinker, smoker. Yeah, he's he's just a you know very uh, kind of a vulgar character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll just kind, put it that yeah, way. Yeah, kind of a vulgar character. But uh, he um, kind of like me. <laughs> yeah, like the wingman, a vulgar character. You don't want your kids to grow up to be like me. No. <laughs> Let them grow up to be like a wolf Yeah, player. like me. Collected Superman stuff. <laughs> that's that's if you want your kids to turn out well, then collect Superman stuff. But don't buy stuff I want because I want. So. <laughs> Unless they're buying it for you. Yeah, and if you're buying it for me, that's fine. You can send that's it right. That's what I to, do. I'll give you an address. You can send it to me. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, that's how I get stuff sometimes. Now and people are like, oh, he he'd like that, and ends up ends up coming to the house and going to the collection. Well, she's in the crane game. <laughs> the crane game. But then you gotta kind of watch that because you might already have. It. Yeah, there are lots of duplicates. Well, you can sell it. <laughs> duplicates and triplicates, that's for sure. Um, so Howard the Duck. I, I mean, we don't want to go too long just because it's just something you have to experience for yourself. You just, yeah. just got to watch it. You got to see it. Um, I, I, uh, I, I'm not going to give it a rating. Like, we'll give it, like, four you know star, star ratings most time out of five stars. I'm just, it, it's an enjoyable watch for what it is. It's weird. It's a trip down memory lane because it's so odd with its, even the clothing and stuff. Well, it's the same thing think, like Blazing Saddle. Yeah, or just watch the world. Yeah, just watch it. Just yeah, so we're not doing the rating thing. No, it's gonna be like the something on uh, Amazon or Walmart. Yeah, you either like it or yeah. you don't like Where it. Where is it? Oh, write it for you. Yeah, one out of five stars. Like, yeah, no, no. I would just say, um, I would say, I would recommend watching it. That'd be the best. I mean, I can't really put a thumb because it's so weird. It's all over the place. It's a schizophrenic movie. It's just everything. It's got comedy. It's got action. It's got horror. Horror, got yeah. a little bit of horror in there. Yeah. Romance. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely nudity. has that. <laughs> yeah, weird duck nudity, if you're into that. If you are, you need to seek help uh, immediately. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you need Because if, if you're human and you're into bestiality, check yourself in a mental ward. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> it's not okay. Don't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just think I would say watch it. We enjoyed it. Um, we're going to do some more weird movies like that. Some maybe forgotten about movies I want to do. And uh, some stuff that we haven't that we haven't touched on, and that needs some they need some internet love. People need to kind of go back and revisit them. I think it's become kind of a cult classic. People, I think people, it's, it's gotten more appreciation now after the fact than obviously it did winning five awards for being crappy. Well, yeah, it's they they got better. They yeah, I think people more. appreciate. I mean, what are you thinking? Is. Zombie or something like that? Oh man, zombie Beavers, <laughs> maybe that is definitely on the list. That it is, is on the list. That is quite a movie. <laughs> There's another one I saw that I thought about reviewing called Velocipaster. It's like shark. It's like shark data. Yeah, it's shark data. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Those, those. Uh, that those, that became a classic. Yeah, a classic for being bad. Some of those things are fun. Killer clowns. Oh, killer clowns, perhaps. Like, that needs a review. That that sounds like an October. It's on the list. It's like it is on the list. Yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like a uh, an October an October movie <laughs> for sure. Maybe we'll do four weeks of horror. <laughs> But uh, no, we do have a Christmas one on the list. Yeah, Which Gremlins. One? Gremlins, yeah, Christmas because it is. Die well, that's a classic. Die Hard's too. a Christmas movie too. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it, 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 when it comes to Christmas time, it plays. It's, it's a Christmas movie. We do got a holiday coming up. Yeah, and there's a movie on the list too. Go we'll along. Do. Yeah, we might have Let's to do that. Independence Day. Independence Day. Yeah. 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 And 
things. That's a good one. The first, right. the first one. Yeah, the second one is not good. No. Well, we appreciate you guys coming out, watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let everybody know that we're making some videos, sharing with people, enjoy the nostalgia with us. I was about to say that. Don't forget to share. Yeah, don't sh don't forget to share. Make sure that you're joining in, sharing it. Let other people jump in with the nostalgia. We enjoy it. Um, more videos to come. Appreciate you guys. Make sure stay in contact with us. We got more to come. I'm the Wolf. I'm the Catman. And I'm the Wingman. See you later, YouTube.